Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Let me just find my live. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Laura Jean. Welcome to my um, page, Laura Jean's Wreath Room. I'm going to make a fake cake, but before I do that, I wanted to show you guys something because it's so cool. I love it. Um, but let's wait for a couple people to jump on. Uh, if you're joining or you're watching the replay, uh, if you would mind sharing, sprinkling, spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. It helps people find me and helps me to grow. So, I truly appreciate it. Is that a heart? <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Lourdes. Hello, hello. You guys, I got to show you something before we start this cake. And I did prep this cake because I am slow at fake cakes and it's three tears. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. How are you, sweetie? So I prepped most of it today, but I guys, I got to show you something. I got to show you something first. So, uh, this is from Hillside Decor, uh, Debbie Doyle from Hillside Decor on Etsy. Uh, I had her make me one of these, and it's amazing, so I just wanted to show you guys. I keep it in here because I don't want it to get all ruined. Hold on. Wait till you say it. Oh my God. Actually, I'm going to set it on the floor and then take it out. Hold on. Because it's so big. Look at my giant spider. Is that not the prettiest spider you ever saw? Look at this. It's so cool. It's huge. This thing is... It's like 18 inches wide and 20, about 20 inches long. Isn't that so cool? Hi, Jennifer. Thank you for watching, sweetie. Right, Kim? Oh, my God. So, thank you, Tammy. Um, thank you for sprinkling. Uh, Sharon is Karen. Um, you guys, this is from Hillside Decor. Uh, I asked her if she could make me one in the hot pink color. And she did. She's amazing. She does the petals and plumes uh, stuff. And she's usually the girl that I have you all the petals and plumes. Hillside Decor on Etsy. I will have her link when I upload uh, this video of the fake cake. I'll also put in the link to the spider. But isn't it so cool? It's huge. Look at the little feet. Oh my God, I love it. All right, I'm going to set this aside. She's amazing. I'm debating on if I want her to make me a pink Frankenstein, but they're so expensive. Oh my God, they're so expensive. I know, I love it too. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jamie. I don't know yet, Tammy. I don't know. I, I kind of have an idea. I just got to order a couple things, but that wasn't that cheap either. But, you know, look at it. It was amazing. So you guys, I'm going to do a fake cake. I did. It's going to be three tiers. I already prepped two tiers because it's just a repeat process on that. Um, and I'm slow. And it took me all day to do that. So thank God we would have been here for hours. But the inspiration for my cake, I was going to do a Halloween one. But I don't have what I need for it yet. But I'll do the Halloween one uh, too on here. And this was going to be the top of the cake for the Halloween. These little dolls are from Claudia's Decor. They're totally made with foam. Aren't those so cute? So if you want to do the Halloween cake with me, because I'll be doing it live on my page, um, go ahead and order. You can screenshot that. And if you don't see it in Claudia, just go to Claudia's Decor on Facebook and message her. And send show her a picture of this and tell her you need one. Uh, and you guys can make it live with me um, if you want to do that. But today we're doing her. Isn't she so cute? Look at her little lemon. I just don't have what I need for that one yet. And uh, I was going to do this a certain way, too. Joanne's was closed today, where we live. I sent my husband there to get me yellow foam sheets. 
uh, but they were close. And Michael's only had the dark yellow, like fall yellow, sunflower yellow. So that wasn't going to work. So we did the um, lemons a different way. But I think that's a little foam sheet lemon. Isn't it so cute? So this is going to be on top of the cake. Hi, Willamine. I know, Kathy, her dolls are so adorable. I've had these forever, both of them. They've been sitting up in a basket up way on top near the ceiling. And I looked up there the other day. I said, oh, my God, i got to do something with those. And I was originally going to do her in a, a wreath and make, like, the fabric ornament balls and lemons. But then I was like, you know what? We're going to put her in a cake. So that's what we're doing. So I'm just going to pan the camera down just a little. And, again, if you guys wouldn't mind sharing, I'd really appreciate it. just helps people to find me again. So... We have this, does it say the size? Eight inch round. It's four inches high and eight inches round. So we're going to decorate this. This one's the top. Now we'll be repeating. I'll show you the other two and it's, it's the, pretty much the same process. So one of the bottom cake I wrapped in this. This is fabric from Joann's, guys. It's just fabric. Isn't that cool? As soon as I seen it, I thought of that doll and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to do the doll. Uh, so I picked that up, and then I picked up this lemon fabric, and that's what we're going to do right now on this 8-inch uh, round. So, again, the lemons. And then I picked up this darker green, but I didn't really want to, I thought it was just a really nice pop. But because she's so light and I'm very matchy, I, I decided uh, just to paint the other cake form because I didn't have a light green fabric. But right now, we're going to wrap this cake form in this fabric. And I cut down a piece. I already cut a piece off. So you just want to make sure when you're cutting the piece that it's wide enough to go along all the way down. Okay, so just cut it so it's wide enough to, to wrap around. So we're going to do that right now. And I'm going to use some Mod Podge uh, fabric tissue to secure it. So let me open that up. Let's lay this straight. And I'm going to start where my seam is. And I'm going to start just gluing it. This is going to be so cute. I love, love lemon. I love lemon cake. I love lemon pie. I just love lemon flavored stuff. So I seen that fabric. Huh? No, I didn't let any of them in here. They were staring at me over at the door. The dogs were staring at me because I won't let them come in. <laughs> Bookie's hair just floats in the air. I'm so sick of it. So I'm just covering some of it first. I'm sorry, the comments keep disappearing. Hi, Kelly. So you have three of her dolls? For two, I know I've had those dolls probably almost two years too. Well. I mean, I, they were way up high. I just forgot about them. All right, guys. So I'm just going to line up. And you want to try to keep your lemons straight. Right? You, wanna, you don't want them going off crooked. Making sure I'm staying straight. Gonna pat this down nice and smooth, making sure I'm getting all the bumps and air pockets, really attaching it to the foam. Turn it sideways, look up at it too to make sure you know your lemons aren't going all wonky. Especially with the stripes, and I'll show you the stripe one I did. Um, the stripes you really gotta, you know, pay attention to because when you're you know, securing it down and making sure you're getting all the air out of it, you can move the, the stripes and they look a little crooked. So I did my best. But I can't wait to do the Halloween one. I, I kind of already have an idea of what I want to do with it. I just got to get some things I didn't have. I thought I did and I didn't. So we literally switched this cake at the last minute. <laughs> I was like, oh, I want to do Halloween. I've been in a Halloween um, mood. I love Halloween. I just did in my uh, Two Cry Two Chicks group, I did a huge skeleton. And it's in a frame. And it lights up. 
I love how that come out came out. And I'm gonna do a matching garland. It's gonna be my outdoor. I I don't I decorate my outdoors, but I I've never done a garland. I've, I've got garlands for every season, but I just never did Halloween. But this year we're gonna do Halloween garland. Whoa! I wish the comments didn't disappear. Uh, no, honey, that's gonna be. I mean, uh, uh, it's just so big, Jesse. It's it's literally fifty inches long. It's a big, it's big. I wanted something big on my door because my driveway is long. You know, so I want to make sure that people see it from the road. I just like, I like everything large. <laughs> uh, so I wanted something big and that's why I did it the way I did it. Because I've had those skeletons. Um, he was dressed as the groom and then I have the other skeleton as the bride. And they're like five and a half feet tall. But... I took one of them apart, and that's what I created. Uh, I do have um, Easter garlands I'm going to be putting up with Match and Race that I had last year and the year before, because I'm, I'm so over storing these things. And also, uh, next weekend, I'm going to have a live sale, and this is going to be the cheapest that you'll ever get my race, because they just got to go. They just got to go. Like, I'm so overlooking at them. They're they're taking over the whole basement. And I've given away probably 30 wreaths. I'm just like, take these. Here, take these. To my sister, to my mother. Like, here, pass these out to the people at Bingo. <laughs> they raffle, raffle them off. But uh, I do love Halloween. I can't wait. I got a lot of ideas this year, too. Um, I really want that pink Frankenstein. Man. I just don't make the money I used to and spend that much money and not sell it would suck. Like the last big Frankenstein on my old page, which I, you know, sold a lot of stuff there, didn't sell. But they're so expensive. And then, you know, all the stuff I add into them just really jacks that price up. But I raffled it. I really like to start doing raffles again, too, because I like doing raffles. Uh, will you please remind me when it's time? Yes, Carolyn, I'll post that. Um... I'll probably do it next Sunday, so I'll post it Saturday and then a reminder during the day on Sunday. All right, guys, so now we're going to trim all the extra um, fabric off. You're just going to go right across the top. I'm really focused. Hold on. <laughs> So a little tacky. I hate that those comments keep disappearing. All right, I'm going to try to trim this one off straight. Let me line it up. And I'm just going to glue that down. Go ahead, trim a little bit more right here. Now we gotta do the other side. Yes, I need, yes, you guys, I'll post it on my page. So uh, next weekend, so we'll do, so let's say we'll do the sale on Sunday. And then uh, I'll post Saturday on my business page, Laura Jean's Reef Room. I'll post, um, you know, a, a reminder that I'm having a sale on Sunday. And then Sunday during the day, I'll have reminders. Because trust me, I need to sell them. I, I'm just, you know, I, I've given away a lot of them. But there's just certain ones I won't give away. It's got to too much money into them. So I'd like to at least make some of the money back off what's in them. But yeah, I will be taking a loss on these ones. But my Etsy shop's like dead. It's just sad. I don't make wreaths the way I used to because they're, since I had to start my new page, they just don't sell like they used to. And I don't even price them out for as much as they really should be. Because I'm like, oh God, it'll never sell at that price. 
I just love a full wreath, though. I don't... I like lots of things in them, and I love a full, full wreath. And a lot of people, you know, some people don't like full wreaths. They like them nice and thin and flat, and that's not me. There are. There's a lot of wreath makers. It's very... But, you know, we, we come live, and we teach everybody, and then... You know, just like me, I was just doing it because I was bored and depressed and it helped me with my depression. But uh, then I started a business and then, you know, I come live and I show you guys and then you guys start a business and then you teach people and then do lives and then they start a business. So, yeah, especially after COVID, during COVID, when people didn't have nothing to do. All right. So, ta-da, you got lemons. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to take some foam clay. Now this was two Crafty Chicks foam clay. We're not selling that uh, right now. We just weren't selling enough of it. Um, and I probably ordered way too much of it. But once I start growing again and getting more customers, I'll reorder and have more things to sell. I almost just paced a huge order at Ferris Soak. But I don't want to spend that much money when I'm not sure I can sell it and stuff. So I'm like, eh. We're going to have to just keep doing lines and letting the page grow. And hopefully get back to where I was. All right, guys. So I'm just going to take out a bunch of foam clay. Now, this is a medium yellow. I have four different color yellows, but I didn't want it really light and I didn't want it really dark. So I'm just using a medium yellow. Sticking to the bag. Just trying to pull out a bunch. All right. So... Make sure, I got way too much. <laughs> um, make sure that you're conditioning it and warming it up, smoothing it out. So you're just going to keep moving it in your hands. This stuff's really good though. I mean, it's pretty, see how it's like nice and stretchy like taffy? That's the way you want it to look. <coughs> to look. You don't want it just to, like sometimes they just like snap like that. You want it to be stretchy. Oh, we're not selling clay right now, sweetie. I mean, I have lots of clay left, but it's almost a year old, and I, I had it in the basement because uh, it was in the garage, but it was just too too much. Winter came, and I had to move it out of the garage. So I moved it to the dining room. Then, of course, Christmas was coming, so I had to go out of the dining room. So I brought it down to the basement, but the heat's on in the winter, and the heat goes to the basement first. So the basement was very warm. This should be stored in a nice, cool place. Now, this is my personal stuff, which is not stored in the basement, so this one's not bad. But a lot of the bags downstairs, the front of it's hard, and then the back is soft, or you can see the gel. It looks like gel, and it's sticky. So I enlisted it. I didn't want to sell it to you like that. But eventually, when I, you know, hopefully build up my page... Uh, but Goods and Glue sells it. Um, who, Annie's Treasure, Amazon. You can get boys clay from Amazon. Okay, so we're just going to roll this out. And I don't like my drip to be super thin, but I don't want it super thick either. So you do your drip as thick as you want it or as thin as you want it. And I'm just going to do this in sections. I could just cover that because it's a small cake, but i got to use the same cookie cutters that I used on the whole other two cakes. And I'll show you those as soon as we're done with this piece. Air bubble. There's something in that. Something hard was in there. And I keep forgetting to order me a big one of these. I have a big one, but it's it sucks. It sticks to my foam clay. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Quiet Corner Crafting with Juliana sells these on her page. And they're giant cookie cutters. And I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get the yellow out that I used in there earlier. Um, they're giant cookie cutter drips. And then this one comes in a three pack. So it has the splatters. And I'm sure you guys all seen these on Juliana's page. Uh, these were the first ones she sold. And, I, and today was the first time I used them. I've had them forever. I don't make cakes on an everyday basis, though. So, 
we're just going to take, obviously, the side with this here you're not using. You're using the open side. You're going to just push it down. And then I just pull this up over on this side. Now, these are a little tricky to pull out. <laughs> so do your best. I, I stick all my clay to the bottom here and lift up, trying to pull these little skinny ones out. Sometimes they come out, sometimes they don't. Put it there, pull up, see one didn't come out. There's a piece in there. See if we can get it. And there's two pieces in these little sections. So let me see if I can get in there. I got that one. Sometimes they come right out and sometimes they don't. This is really skinny in here though, so it's hard to get those ones out. It's right there. Or if you can't get them out, just get a really skinny, your paintbrush and just get in between and push them out. Okay. All right. So you're going to lift this up. I just gently pop out this corner. Sometimes it pops right out. Other times it doesn't really sticking to here. Pop out that corner, then I pop out this whole top part. And then you gotta pull really fast. So I'm gonna grab right here and pull it. Try not to let them touch like I just did. They do though, they're hard to pull out. But you know, it's fine. So you're gonna pull that out and then you have a little drip. All right, I like to smooth down these, so I just tuck all, because when you pull it out, you get little uh, frays on the edges, so I just tuck it all under, tucking them all under and just fixing that. I haven't done a fake cake forever on my page. I usually just do cakes in the group. Those cakes take me days, though. <laughs> I'm not the fastest um, fake baker. <laughs> I take days to make cakes. So, like, literally, I, I prepped the other two today, and it took me hours to do that. So I'm glad I didn't wait till tonight, because we would have been live for, like, five hours making a cake. I am a slow fake baker. <laughs> All right. So now I'm just going to take this. And, sorry guys, my comments keep going away. Uh, that shame. Tammy, I send it to Juliana, honey. Half of it's hers. <laughs> Juliana just got 36 bags of clay. Should I just send them to her? I tried to send them all of it, her all of it, but she just doesn't have the room to store it. All right, guys, so I'm just going to stick this right at the top. See where this is right up here? I'm literally lining my cake up right, hold on, I'll show you in a second, right at the bottom of that part. And then I'm gonna take the rest over of it, the rest of it, the rest over, and then I just fold it down. So push it down. And you should use some super glue underneath these, but I'll glue this once it's all dry. I'll glue those and make sure they stay down. Or when I come in with, oh, I was going to do that first and I forgot. It's all right, we'll do it after. I was going to Mod Podge this first before I started this, but I forgot. So, we'll do it after. And I'm using my palms because I don't want fingerprints all in it. And then I'm just pushing this down into that foam, styrofoam, round form, cake dummy. Now that one drips a little long, so I'm just going to trim it with my scissors. Hold on, i got to 
shake it out. So it's not touching the, you know, it's hanging down past it. Push these all nice and flush. Just like that. All right, so let's do the next piece. The piece is still a little long. Oh, stop touching. Hold on, I gotta fix it again. <laughs> Why are you gonna mess with me? Probably just stretch it. Alright. Alright. Okay. Hold on. Alright, so now we're just gonna do the next one. Do the same thing all the way around it. This is gonna be so cute, I hope. I hope it's cute. Alright, let's flatten that down, try to get all those <coughs> air pockets out. Keep rolling it. You guys know what I'm singing right now in my head, right? Who knows what I'm singing? Ah. Ow. Laura, are you ready for summer? Um, I'm ready for the the pool opens on the twelfth. The problem with that is trying to keep bookie. Booker is in the pool every single day, all day long. It's like I have a constant wet dog. But I can't wait for it to open because he could use the exercise. All right, so we just roll that as thick as you want it. Let's get our thing here. Now, normally I take a piece. I forgot to clean that. You want to make sure that you're cleaning all that. See the clay that's all stuck on it? You want to get that off so it doesn't affect how the next one comes out. So I usually just take my clay and pull it off. You could just wipe it. Probably quicker to just wipe it. <laughs> Big wheels keep on rolling. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> Hi, Tom. <laughs> if they see me rolling. I swear to God, every time I roll something, that just pops in my head. Every single time. I swear. Every time. You can't help it. There's just certain songs that pop in my head when I'm doing certain things. They see me rolling. <laughs> now I'm going to sing those. Alright, push down. I pull this back piece off first and come around. One, two. Come on, you little bugger. Ooh. Ooh, I got it. Yeah. That was a good one. Sometimes you're there for a minute. It's like, come on, just pop out. All right, so we're going to pop this first one out. watch how Giuliani gets eaten. I haven't, oh, I've, I've seen her, did I see her use this? I don't remember. Um, because I just pull it really fast. I open up the back and then I pull. But then you got to pray that they don't touch. No, don't touch. Don't touch. You can unstick them and then reshape them if they get really bad or just redo it. But again, I'm going to push all that little Free looking stuff to the back so it just looks more smoother. What is up, Lynn? Lynn number one. I was like, I'm going to go live on Sunday at 7, even though you guys know I'm usually in bed right now. <laughs> it's past my bedtime. I go to bed so early now, it's so funny. My husband used to go to bed. My husband's always gone to bed very early. Um, and I've been with him for 24 years. And I'd be like, you're going to bed right now. Like, I usually sit downstairs till midnight. But no, I go upstairs. I mean, I'm not in, I'm in bed, but I'm not sleeping. I watch TV till like 1 to 2 in the morning. 
But I literally go upstairs now in bed. It's like, eh. And I think that's probably because of Booker. Because <laughs> Booker won't leave me alone if I'm on the couch. He just wants to bring me a toy. I'm his personal play toy. He won't leave me alone. So I, if I go upstairs and lay in bed, he leaves me alone. That's probably why. That's when it started, when we got Booker. <laughs> He's up my butt all day. Unless I'm in here. Alright guys, so again, we're just going to do the same exact thing. Pick it up. Alright, so I already have a drip right here on the end. So I don't want to put a drip on top of a drip. Mm, actually, I'm just going to take a little piece. I like that drip. I'm just going to take a little piece and add a little space here. I'll fix that after. So when I start my drip, it's not on top of that one. Go around. Push down. And I try not to use my fingers because you're not, you don't want your fingerprints all in your foam clay. But if you do, you can smooth it out with water. I saw Julianne and Crystal. They literally just tap, tap, and they have no fingerprints. And I'm looking at it like, oh, my God, it's fingerprinted everywhere. I just stared you know. All right. So see how I'm bringing that top piece almost right up to the top. Push it into the... Those long ones, this one's a little long, so I'm going to have to trim it down. And I'll just reshape that one. Oh, that one's a little long. The long ones need a little bit of trimming. They're touching the table on the short, on the top piece. That's okay. We just to trim it. Juliana's got so many of these cookie cutters. She's got bats. She's got ghosts. She's got so many. <coughs> My throat is so tickly tonight. All right, we have a little piece left, so I don't need to do it as big. And you really should super glue those down because it's clay. Hot glue does not work. It'll just come unstuck. But I'll just let those dry and then stick it down with hot glue. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can always smooth this out, and I'll show you that after. And I don't need a whole piece, so I'm just going to take a section off. That one came out good. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm gonna smooth this one, shake this one out. This one lost its shape. Four. I, I did. I don't know if you heard me. <laughs> Oops. I said a naughty. I think I said it quiet enough, though. <laughs> you guys should hear me when I'm not live. Oh, my God. Thank God these things aren't real. They have feelings and stuff because they would not like me. All right. And then I just roll a piece and put it on top. 
That wasn't that big though. You could have did the one whole piece, but I was trying to stay to the same drip as I did on the other two. So now we're just gonna roll out a round top piece. I'm saying, I'm saying it, they see me rolling. I don't know why, I swear I'm so weird. Like, you know you're weird if you think you're weird yourself. So, just cutting this off to about the size I need. I'm just guesstimating it. So we're going to set this one right up here and then push it in. Now this is where I'm going to get my water out to blend it. But I'm going to have sprinkles up on here so I'm not going to like super blend it. We're going to hide the little seams that you can see. But you could really blend this really good with water. Not a lot, though. You don't want to go nuts. But you can make it, like, pasty. It gets, like, pasty and filmy. So I just dip my hands and get them wet in some water. Make sure your hands are clean. <laughs> or your cake's not going to be the same color. And really start blending in where you see the little lines. Now, I'm not worried about the middle. Oh, this is the top piece. Like I said, I'm gonna have sprinkles all in here, so I'm not gonna get super picky with this. Cause trust me, I could do this part forever. <laughs> it's like being in the movie Ghost. Oh, I just watched that last night. Um, it's really smoothing it out. I did it one time with uh, Mod Modelite. Modelite, is that what it's called? That play from Walmart. It came out perfect looking. You didn't see nothing. All right, uh, like I said, I'm not gonna be too picky because I'm just gonna hide it in sprinkles. Because I found sprinkles that match from Sprinkle Pop. <laughs> she sent me free sprinkles and I was like, yes, they have lemon. All right, I'm gonna dip my hands in here just because they're really sticky. Let me wipe them off. Yeah. All right, let me get the other cake, the other two cakes, so you can see. Hold on, I gotta turn this one, it's too long. I'll shape it in a minute. Let me put this in the bag so it doesn't dry. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. So, I did the same thing we did um, with the fabric. I put that striped fabric. I mod podged it down on the bottom, and then we did the drip all the way around. Now, I didn't have uh, the green. I only had that dark fabric, and I, I was originally going to use the dark, because but then I wanted to match her. And she's more of the lighter green. So I just used spring green paint and I painted it. So the second form is just painted. And it's the apple barrel paint from Walmart in spring green. Isn't that cute? And then we're going to set this one on top. And, and then I took a cake board and painted that yellow. And I think that's a 14 inch cake board. Let me move my water. Hold on. Oh no, some of them are touching. All right. That'll be the back. <laughs> that just turned into the back. 
Alright, so let me get this where I want it. I'm going to set that right up here. Now, you do want to glue these down, but I'm going to let these all dry and then I'll hot glue them down or I'm going to stick dowels through them. If you're shipping and selling cakes, um, the best way to pack them, none of these are glued. I, that box, This one might not come off though. Let me see. Hold on. Um, is it stuck? Well, on that first cake, you're going to pop with your all a hole in a hole before you put your foam clay on when it's just the styrofoam piece. You're going to push a hole in a hole and stick your pipe cleaner down through so it pops out the bottom. So you stick part of the pipe cleaner down, bend it down and stick the other. So you have part of the pipe cleaner going across. You have to attach, you're going to need two pipe cleaners, depending on how big it is. Um, and then that way you can poke holes in your box and then twist it on the underside of your box and then take that off so it's not moving when you're shipping it. Oh, that is so... Oh, uh, you guys, I should have lowered the camera. I think you're up too high. I don't know. Can I lower that a little? I need to lower it. That's not centered. That's my front. Don't pay attention to the back. <laughs> All right. You're also going to go in, and I'm going to take, before we move on, hold on. Sing my brush. You guys, do you want me to move the um, camera down? I feel like it's too tall. You're just seeing the top of the cake. Does who designed what, Jesse? So I'm using matte Mod Podge now, and I'm just doing the fabric, and I shouldn't have put that down yet. I'm just going to do the fabric part of this lemon. Once that foam clay dries, and I'm going to scoot in underneath where they're sticking up and just pat them down so they stick down because they're popping out. And we're going to Mod Podge with matte just on the fabric. And I do do a little bit to make those stick because I didn't put super glue down. And you're going to do this all the way around on every one of those. Those ones are already done. Does Juliana design the, um, yes, Juliana designs all the cookie cutters. Juliana is the clay queen. gonna be so cute. I love those dolls. I cannot wait to do the Halloween one. But that one's gonna be really cool. And I was gonna do I was gonna do these in two crafty checks. So then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do them on my business page. Because why not? Get underneath there. Yeah, but I don't do a lot of cakes on my business page. And just because they're very time consuming. They're time consuming for me anyways. I'm not the fastest at them. I mean, I usually take a day to three days to de design a cake. So, are you guys doing Halloween? Is anybody making anything Halloween-y? I love Halloween. Love it. So just 
go all the way around. I'm like, God, didn't I go all the way around yet? And it's okay that I'm touching that clay right now in this because I'll go over it once it all dries, dries in the gloss. I'm just trying to get those to stick down. All right. So just get it all covered, your fabric in the Mod Podge. And set it down. And you do want to glue those together. I'll glue them later. I'm too high up. We started. Oh, you did, Wilhelmine? I know. I can't believe. Um, I mean, I can. But that uh, Hobby Lobby already has freaking Christmas out. You guys, hold on. I'm just going to give you a better. I got I to gotta be in front of you, though. I can't see. I want to lower that just a little. So if I make you a little nauseous, I apologize. But I just feel like you're not going to... I hate when I'm watching someone and I can't see anything they're doing. I'm like, what are they doing? I can't get it undone. There we go. Okay, I'm really sorry. I had this down lower, but I was like, no. Now they're too low. I'm so sorry if I'm making you nauseous. I'm really trying not to. Give me a second. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Bend, it won't bend. Oh, I gotta turn that. I'm sorry guys, you're gonna, you're going on a little ride. <laughs> That's not working either. Oh my God, I'm live right now. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it here, I think. Give me a second. I don't know if it's gonna stay in this position though. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, wrong way. All right. I got a rock on here so it doesn't tip it over. Don't tip over. Put a candle there. All right, let me see. Sorry, guys. I just wanted you to have a better view. Now you can see it. Before you can only see the top. Not acceptable. God, I'm so fuzzy. Yes, it's Claudia's Decor. The doll is from Claudia's Decor on Facebook. All right, hold on. I need a tissue. Okay. Oh, oh my God, the pollen today has been crazy. I'm not feeling it. All right, let's get, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I made a couple things. So let me grab them. So I made a lemon cupcake with green, cute. Then we got a tiny lemon cupcake <laughs> and then some lemons. So let me move the cake over. Comments always go away. Okay, so now I'm gonna um what did what am I gonna do? Oh let me grab these. Alright, so I have these little silicone cupcake things. And you can get these at all your craft supply stores. Where's the other ones though? Why am I not seeing them? Oh. And then I have the bigger ones. And all I did was I took the small one with some yellow foam clay and I put it in the cup. <laughs> I kept it pretty simple. I don't want to overdo the cake. I think the cake looks pretty just the way it is. But you got to add some lemon stuff. Ooh, this is sticky. I have glue on me. I got 
glue all over me, so it's making it sticky. I know, you guys. I was like, I love lemon cakes. I have a lemon cake over there that I just love. Um, can you see? You can see it a little bit. Lemon cake. It's very sticky. I think it's because I have glue on my hands. So you're just going to take a piece, and I just shoved it in my little silicone thing. That's way too much. It's so sticky, it's never going to come unstuck. This this bag, uh, I already used a whole bag of this stuff. So I just opened that bag, it's sticky. But you're just going to put it in there. Let them sit for like five minutes, or you can just pop it in the freezer to pop them out. This isn't going to pop out, it's too sticky. I already know it's not going to pop out. But these ones are dry. So then you just pop it out, and it has the little lines on it from the silicone. So I did that and then I took some green and this is grass green. I got so much I need to go wash my hands. Took a little piece of green So, Brandy, today I spent, now, mind you, I bought um, a yard of fabric of each color. Uh, the green I didn't use, so I painted that cake form green, the second cake form, but if you're going to buy fabric. Um, but I bought a yard of each, and you don't need a yard of each. You only need a, like, I don't know, four inches wide. Your widest cake form is four inches. Uh, four inches wide, a yard long. Now, Depending on how big your bottom cake form is, one yard sometimes isn't enough. But um, that one was fine. And I'll tell you, I don't remember. I didn't look up the size of that. So the bottom form. I know the top one was what eight inches. So the next one is a ten, and then a twelve. I think. So you could get the three tier cake forms on Amazon. Depending on where you get them, I think they're about $25 to $35. I spent $35 on fabric today, bought a body yard of each, and um, they were a little pricey. Did I get something else with them? It's like $34. But you don't need a yard. Just get a half a yard, or ask her if you can have it five inches wide, a yard long. I don't know if they sell it like that. I always get a yard to two yards when I go. So you're just going to roll. Again, the thickness is up to you. And then I wanted it to look different than just a round going around. So I just stuck my finger, spaced it, stuck my finger around. And then, oh, that was on the big one. I didn't want to do that on the little one. Let's do it on this one. I'm going to just shove some foam clay in there because I have a lot of it. <laughs> this one, I use this one. Okay. You do have to let this dry before you pop that out. Let's just stick this down in here. And then I'm going to go right along the inside. Let's cut that piece. So, sprinkles, the dowel. I don't remember how much the dowel was. Brandy, I don't remember. I don't know. I just make things. And I, I know a lot of times I have most of the things. Like I already had the doll. I already had these silicone things. But you don't need these. You can just um, just make a cupcake and put the lines in it with a kitchen knife. Alright, I need more yellow. Um, I think Lily's got to go out. And... Nobody's going to let them out. Again, make sure you're conditioning your clay. Hold on, Louie. I hear you crying. I closed the doors in here so they can't even get to the doggy door. Because the doggy door is in here. Hold on, buddy. 
I'm going to cut a piece of this off. And then I'm just going to start doing the swirls. So I just start around the inside. Now I'm going to shove a piece of clay. That's too big. Oh, don't touch my swirl. I'm just going to shove that right there to help support this so that it's not hollow. And you keep just twisting it around. And that's how you can do the cupcakes. But we're going to do sprinkles and stuff. All right, so that's how you do the little cupcakes or the big cupcakes. We'll have to finish decorating these. Oh, I forgot I got to let Louie out. Come here, Louie. Come on. Go. Go out the doggy door. Go. Go. Oh, you're just crying because you want to come in here? Oh, you're such a baby. Lord forbid you couldn't get next to me. You didn't have to go. You just wanted to be in here next to me. You're like freaking gross. You can't get off you. Hey, Deborah. <laughs> Brandy, I would have to add that up. I don't know yet. Um, so I have these little lemon, you know, I think these were from the dollar store. Mm, Target. Target. And I just made, you know, just pop your phone clay in. And they're just like little, these are still not dry. Oh. Little lemons and little limes. Just pop them out. That one messed up. See, they got little dots on them. And that wasn't dry. Alright, so for the lemon, let's get to the lemon. The lemon, I just took a half a ball. So this is a two inch ball. I cut it in half. And then you're going to take your yellow, your mellow yellow, your yellow foam clay. And we're gonna cover that ball and make a lemon. I don't know why the comments always disappear. All right, so again, condition your clay and warm it up. The more you warm it up and make sure that it's, you know, nice and conditioned, uh, your clay's not gonna crack, okay? It's sticking to me. All right, so just roll it out. Oh, there's a piece of hair. Then you're just gonna, I was trying to do these with foam sheets. Oh, that was a nightmare. Time consuming. And I didn't like them. I didn't have, see I had that, the darker color. Then I did lighter on top. So those are with foam sheets. Where's the little one? There's the little one. But I like them better with the foam clay. It was a lot easier to do too. The foam sheets were hard. All right. Um. The rounded part up, you're just going to put this down and pull it over. Pull it all downwards and pull off all the extra clay. Try only to touch the top of the ball, the rounded part. Pull all your clay off. Alright, then we're going to roll out another flat piece. Oh, stick it up. Buddy, mom is working. You know you can't sit up here. Then we're just going to cut off a round piece to go on top. Doesn't have to be perfect, and I just got to made it. It's a little small. We'll stretch it. I should have did it. I'm going to do a bigger one. It's too small. 
Ah, I made it too small. I cut it too small. I got to get the different size round circles. I only have four size circle cutters. But I need... All right, let's just set this on top. And then trim around the sides, flip it over, and trim the sides off. And then go ahead and pinch those in so it's more round. And then you're going to take your butter knife and we're going to make crisscross lines. So we're going to do a line right in the middle. And I like to wiggle the knife back and forth to widen the lines because bone clay does shrink up once it's dry. Then you're going to turn it and go in the middle again. Again, move your knife back and forth to make the lines wider. Then in the middle of the X, you're going to go down the middle of that X. like a pie. All right, and sometimes I go in there twice to really separate those lines. Once this is dry, or you can do it now, you can take a little uh, thin point sharp paint, brought, uh, paint marker and you know, make them darker in there. I want to wait for it to dry. Kayla's freaking out that I'm using her expensive marker. <laughs> like, geez, what was it? Five bucks. I'll give you five bucks. Calm down. Okay. And then you have a little lemon. Aren't those cute? Hi, Rita. Hi, sweetie. They're so cute. All right, so you're just going to make your lemons, your little cupcakes. Then we have these little pieces. And I did do, um, I only did one green lime colored one because you know it's green and yellow but I don't want a lot of green limes I want mainly lemons but if I want more I'll make more but I only did make one all right so just like you did the lemon and then you could also just buy real lemons from Hobby Lobby or craft store but let's grab these and then we're just going to start attaching them. This one's not decorated. Actually, I just should move everything out of my way. I'm setting it all right in my way. Let me just put them in here. I got to bring my cake back over. stare at me the whole entire time, Lewis. Okay. Sorry, guys. I just want to get this all out of my way. Those are still wet. Oh, don't touch. Okay. I swear I'm a mess messy crafter. <laughs> I want to see it now. I got to have them starting to fix up. All right. Let's get that cake over here. So, for the doll. Oh, that's not the doll. That's a Halloween one. She's going to go right on top. I'm going to mark her feet. Oh, she's really sticking in there. Um, she's going to go right on top. So, hold on. I think I'm going to push some little dowels up through her. Let me grab some dowels. And I still have that. Oh, come on, give me another one. Why? Alright, 
So I'm going to take my awl, my awl, and I'm going to poke a hole right in the bottom of her foot. Did I turn? Oh, I didn't turn my glue gun on. All right. I didn't turn my glue gun on. I'm going to stick these up in here. I'm going to cut this one down. It's a little long, too. My glue gun's not on, but I'll glue everything down another day. I'm going to mark where I want her and push it in. Still need to back you up, guys, up more. You're still not. Hold on. Oh my god, how cute is she? <laughs> She's so cute. Hi, Nicole. Oh, good. Hi, Addie. Oh, I forgot to say that. Is it Addie or Addie? Addie, Addie. I'm thinking Addie. Hi, sweetie. When you make something, I want to see them. I want to see pictures. Oh, good. You're welcome, sweetie. Thank you, Tina. So, we got her in. Now we're going to start placing. And I'm just going to, you know, I was going to have you on this side. And I kind of wish I did. Because, again, I got to turn her around to look at it. So I made this big cupcake, and I'm, I'm going to place things, then we're going to do the sprinkles. So I'm going to stick a dowel up in the bottom of here, too. Louie, stop it. And I'm going to stick this right next to her foot. Everything's still wet. I'm using a little tool to help me push that down. Louie, honey, I'm going to push you back out in the other room. So she's got a little cupcake next to her. She's got a lemon over here. And because she's got a cup, big cupcake up here, I'm going to put a smaller one on the second tier on the opposite side. And my cake forms are not lined up right. Oh, I'm just going to leave it. Hold on, let me look at her. I'm going to use a little dowel again. Where's that all? I'm going to put it about there. Oh, this is so cute. All right. I'm going to do the cupcakes just going to the opposite. So we got to decorate two more small ones. That's a lemon. So let's... Oh, is this the one I just did? So there's one. That's the one I just did. That one's done. All right. We're going to get yellow. Just to do the little swirl. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. Thank you, Tammy. Just gonna swirl it out. Sing it with me. <laughs> they see me rolling. And I guess I'm going to do the green around those, too. So let's do that first. Oh, 
go bug daddy. None of the dogs ever bug him. Why is that? All right, let's set this over there for a second. I'm gonna grab a little bit of green. I hate that the comments go away. Thank you, Brandy. All right, we're gonna grab a little bit of green so we can just put a little green around the cupcake. Those are so cute. And they're tiny, so we don't need a lot. Where's my... Go right around the outside. Right up on top of the edge, not the outside. I'm going to pinch it with my fingers a little bit so it looks like that. Then we're going to take some of the yellow. I'm actually just going to shove a small piece in the middle in a second. Still a little thick. Come on. All right. I'm just going to start twisting it. This is kind of thick, so I might not have to use the middle piece. Right around the inside of that green. Shove a little piece of green down in there. Go around. Pull. Pull. Okay, so we got another little cupcake. We're going to stick a dowel in that one. It's like, what was I looking for? <laughs> no, I wanted that piece. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Again, I'm going to stick a doll in here. And then I'm going to put that one. Whoops, let me move this over. So oh, there's one here, one here. So we're going to come down. Oops. I'm going to come down right here. So let me turn it around. Get my handy dandy tool. I wish I would have backed that cake up more. I really think it's stuck on here now, though. Ugh. I can't top it off. It's stuck in the clay. I needed more space. Hold on. I get it in there. And now we're going to go over here on the bottom and put another cupcake. And I'm almost thinking of a big one down there, but no, it's too big. So we're just going to grab another small one and do the same thing, the green. And I just move this over. So let's do the green around it. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. And I didn't cut enough. Ah. That's all right. It's all right. 
That part can stick to the back. All right, let's roll the yellow one. Usually I'm always trying to rush when I do a cake, and I'm really not. I'm really not trying to rush. Hi, Kara. I told you yesterday I was going live, Kara. I told you I was going live on Sunday at 7. I told you, Liana, and I told you. And I announced it. On my page. All right, so I got another little cute cupcake. They're so cute. I love those little cupcakes. All right, let's take another little stick. And this one's gonna go. Oh, I don't need a stick because it's gonna stick right to the board. There's nothing to stick it in. <laughs> so I'm going to set that one right here. Oh, nope, I didn't want that right there. I wasn't facing frontwards. Not bad. <laughs> like, wait, that looks weird. That'll need to be glued down or it might fall off because it doesn't have enough space. All right. Turned it around so far. So we got the little cupcakes going down opposite, zigzagging down. Now we're going to put some lemons. So let me turn it around and see where I want a lemon. Again, I'm going to use a stick in my lemon. Oh, that's a, I forgot. It. I'm going to stick up one next to her foot. like that and then I'm going to stick one to the back of it facing the back so let me get another towel So we got two up on top next to her foot. I'm going to put one right in the front. Let me just put it on and then I'll turn around and show you. That one's kind of big though. Do I have a little one? And that one's smaller. Oh, I didn't get that second cake form centered. I just set it on there, not thinking it was going to stick to it. None of them are centered, but I'll wait for them to dry and pop them off and center them better. Maybe, or I'll just leave it. Oh, there's a hair, there's a brush from my paintbrush. I hate that. All right, let's see. Hmm. Trying to think of where I want them. I'm gonna stick one in the back. Let's do the big one in the back. Hold on, hold on. Do I not have any more lemons? Oh, I forgot. No. Okay. 
do one there. I, I know I made more lemons. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have another lemon. Oh, I can make one there. All right, so I'm going to do lemon, lemon, lemon. Hold on, let me, I'm going to turn it around. What do you guys think of where the lemons are? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Let me stand it up more. So, I have the lemons right here, and I was going to pop one up here, and there's one down there. Pop one right here. I need to make another one. Thank you, Linda. Hmm, where do I want the lemons? I feel like they're kind of big. All right. I'm going to make another... I want a lemon or a lime. I might do a lemon or a lime. I'm going to add one more lemon or lime. I just got to make one right up in here. But we're going to put some of those little pieces on and then the sprinkles. So let's do... Let me look, though, because I don't want to overdo my cake. I, I do that a lot. And then I'm like, why did you... Just because you have it doesn't mean you had to add it. <laughs> That's how I roll. So let me look. So with these little ones, I just want to pop a couple more green. I'm just going to set them around. Put one there. We're going to set two right up in here. Here, let me show you. I'm going to turn it around. Hold on. And one right here. One over here. I got to glue these down. All right, let me turn it around. I don't really think it needs another lemon. I might not do. Yeah, I think I one more. It needs one more. You want to cut some green? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Add a couple to the back. All right, so let me turn it. Whoops, that's, no, nothing's glued in yet. I have another cupcake over here. I'm gonna wrap some green around that one. Hold on. I'm almost done. I just gotta do some sprinkles. What am I stepping on? Oh shit. I'm just gonna wrap a little bit of green around that. It's so cute. I said it is so cute. All the extra stuff I'll just pop in the back. Let's grab my little towel. Where'd that towel go? Let's pop this one. Let's just do some sprinkles. Let me grab. I'm going to grab my tacky glue. So 
I got some tacky glue. Let me grab a smaller paintbrush. Oh, let's see. That's the one I like. And then I have, where are they? Okay, look how cute these are from Sprinkle Pop. Aren't those so cute? So we're going to add some sprinkles with some tacky glue. Come in. Alright, so I'm going to untwist this. Turn it around. This really should have been a Two Crafty Chicks tutorial. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to go right along the top edge, okay? Where the clay seams were. But sometimes I like just to do things on my page to thank you guys for showing me support. I knew this one was going to be cute. I debated. I was like, ah. All right. So I'm just going to put, here's when they go all over the place. Oh. I want those balls. I'm trying to not lose the big balls. The little big pearls. Those are cool. Alright, so I'm just going to do some of it and then I'll turn it around and show you. I'm trying not to lose my sprinkles. I can't believe I, ha I don't have a lot of summer sprinkles. Um, I mainly have Christmas. <laughs> and I don't really use a lot of sprinkles. And I was like, I don't care if I have any sprinkles. Now, if you don't have sprinkles, you could just use rice um, in food coloring. And a little bit, teeny tiny bit of vinegar. So I'm just going to do the sprinkles like that along the front. And I might just do some on the drip, a couple little spots. So let's get that going. I almost just want to pour them. Let's see. Oh, there's a green. Oh, oh. Let me push that in. Don't fall. Oh, there's a, oh, there's big long ones in there. I've never seen those. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm making a mess. Stay. Let's do some down the drip. Just not sticking there. Do some there. Hold on, guys. These are kind of melting. Are these real? I wonder if these are real. Are these real sprinkles? I almost want to bite one. <laughs> I don't think they are. Some of them are melting now. So when they're starting to melt and run color, they're real. You can use real sprinkles, but you don't want your cake in front of a window 
getting heat on it because then your sprinkles are going to melt and that color will run. And I only know that from a Christmas cake I did, which I like the red, the red color that ran looks kind of pink. So I loved it, but I think these are real sprinkles. All right, hold on. I'm just going to do, I'm not going to do around the back of it. I'll do that late tomorrow. I'm just trying to get some sprinkles on. Oh, something just fell off. usually do too. I usually have a, well not usually, sometimes I do. <laughs> usually I just let them go everywhere. Um, yeah guys, these are real. Oh, sprinkle pop. I didn't know these were real. They gotta be. They're melts. The, the little ball ones are melting um, in the glue and the color's coming on. It's okay. I'll wipe them off my table and put them back in the bag. I'm a messy crafter. I don't know. I don't want to do too much, and I think I'm doing too much. I'm already doing too much. Let me see. Yeah, I don't want to take away. All right, hold on, guys. Let me clean up my sprinkles real quick. I think they're real, though. Turn it around. Um, okay, yeah, where's the green? I wanted to add... Hold on. I gotta get a baby wipe. Let me turn this around. Yeah, hold on. So you guys, remember I encourage engagement because Facebook and YouTube is about engagement and that, you know, they won't share you or have you come up in searches unless people are commenting and engaging. So please make sure you're engaged even if you're watching the replay. I know a lot of people watch me are, are behind the scenes kind of people. They don't really like to say anything. Um, and I, you know, I respect that, but you could just give me an emoji. Just give me an emoji. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to take little teeny green. My hands are so sticky. And I'm going to set little green circles. Let me look, though. I should have did it to the back one first. <laughs> if I don't like it, though, it's okay. Hold on. Oh, my. I got something stuck on me. Hold on. So it's adding little circles to the cupcakes. I don't necessarily need it. Just put one towards the top. Oh, thank you guys. I see another emojis. Thank you. <laughs> Facebook is so, you know, if you're not doing lives every day and I don't, um, then they don't share me on people's pages. I don't make the four to five posts a day, which I know I need to start because Facebook will recognize my page more and, and share me to people that have never seen me. So I do need to start doing that. I don't know. They're okay. I kind of liked it better without them, but I already got them on there, so let's do a couple down on the bottom because I already did the rest. Just 
so it's so cute. So once all that foam clay is dry, I'll go over it with a high gloss Mod Podge or Duraclear in a gloss color. And uh, the trim on the bottom, the trim on the bottom, I, I forgot to turn my glue gun on, so I, I'm not going to be able to do it right now. But I'm going to use, for the bottom of the cake board, I'm going to use this trim. I believe it's Hobby Lobby, or jo Joey's or Hobby Lobby are the only, some of these might have fallen, I'm, I gotta glue everything and stuff. Um, Hobby Lobby, I think it's Hobby Lobby, but this trim right here, I'm gonna go all the way around. I, I forgot to turn the, I was like, I don't need my glue gun. Um, around the bottom of the cake board, right? I'm gonna put that up there. And then on top of that yellow trim, I'm going to do the green rope on t the little green trim on top of the yellow. But my glue gun's not on, so I'll do it tomorrow and post a picture. But I think it's so cute. I can't wait to do the Halloween one. So yeah, those dolls are so cute. She's literally, let me turn it up a little bit more. She's literally been sitting, they've been sitting up there forever. And I'm so glad I finally did something with them because like I said I was going to put her in a wreath but I was like you know what my wreaths are gigantic and she's just not big enough so let's put her in a cake how cute is that so cute give her a kiss <laughs> am I I don't know. Do you guys think there's too much stuff in the front? I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Karen. Yes, I love Karen. Gail, Karen's your sister? Oh, that's nice. Yay. Someone recommended me. There it is. So I'll probably just add a couple of those, you know, these little ones uh, on the back. And then I have, I think, one of these left. And then I, I'm going to make a line to go on the back. Because, you know, I usually just have front and the sides done. But we're going to go ahead and add stuff to the back, too. I, I always say it's a front and side cake, but my backs are usually always finished. But... It's so cute. I love it. Very cute. This will be listed in my Etsy shop, but I will not list this. Uh, but I got two left. So I got two of these. So I'll add these two once I add the frosting to them and a line to the back. Um, and then the trim on around the bottom cake board part. But I'm going to wait for this to cure. I don't like listing my cakes until they cure because you never know. Sometimes they might crack. Um, like my five-tiered cake that Tammy loves. Uh, that was done with spackling, and, you know, I'm still new to cake making. i probably do all that drip again. But a lot of that cracked, and it looks like crap. It's pretty from far away. But when you're selling something, you don't want it to be cracked. So, trust me, I have a lot of cakes, and if they're a little imperfect, I won't sell them because I don't want to listen to people um, tell me, it's got a little crack in it. <laughs> I mean, they're not perfect. This is, you know, I try my best. But yeah, I got to seal it all and let it dry. But I, I will be listing this. Thank you. Oh, my connection is going bad. Yeah, so you guys will be doing this one. Uh, why am I going in and out? I'm going in and out. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off. I really appreciate you guys joining me. I know I was live for a little while. Ooh, almost two hours. And I had now and I had the two cakes prepped. Imagine how long. Literally all day. Cakes take me forever, but look how cute that is. That's so adorable. I love you guys and I will be live this week. Um thank you, Willamine. Thank you guys. Thanks for the love. I'll probably be live again this week uh, to do that spider. I'm thinking of doing the spider on this page too. 
Um, but we'll see. I'll be, I'll be live, uh, definitely Sunday. Don't forget Sunday, uh, I'll be doing a huge sale on my wrist. So, and I might have a couple cakes in there. We'll have, I'll have to go look and see. Um, so I hope to see you guys then. I will put reminders up during the weekend. I love you all. I hope you have a great night and I'll see you when I see you. Bye everybody.